Happy Tuesday. I'm not in my car, I'm in my office. Um, I thought I would talk today and kind of try to teach a little about the basis of the law. Um, the law is called the IDEA and that is what dictates an IEP. So the mission statement of the law reads, to ensure that all children with disabilities have available to them a free and appropriate education, public education that emphasizes special ed and related services designed to meet this is the important part, their unique needs and prepare them for further education, employment and independent living. So nothing on there does it say if they are failing, not failing, progressing from grade to grade. So that's really important for us. And sometimes I have to remind schools that, that the focus is not on grades, it's on preparation for further education, independent living and employment because it's a long-term goal, which I really like. Um, and so there's a few things that we need to look at when we're looking at the IDA in general. And um, there are some statutes that will help. Um, if the school is saying that the student's grades are too high, that they're progressing from grade to grade, 300.101 says a child can advance steadily from grade to grade without failing grades and still be classified as a child with a disability. I have many, many gifted clients um, who are doing very well academically and need social, emotional, and behavioral help. That's very common. Um, another thing that is pretty interesting and I like that is included in the law is supplementary aids and services. This means aids, services, and other supports that are provided in the regular education classroom and other educated relating settings to enable children with disabilities to be educated with non-disabled children to the maximum extent appropriate in accordance with section 1412. So that's in a nutshell called LRE or least restrictive environment. That's the whole inclusion movement. So if you have a child that has, for example, high functioning autism, autism spectrum disorder or ADHD, um, or a few learning disabilities, sometimes they coexist, so maybe a reading learning disability and a math learning disability, and you feel as their parent that at this point they would be best served in the general education setting, that is their LRE or least restrictive environment. So if the school is moving towards moving them into a resource setting all day long, that isn't an appropriate jump um, because maybe they need a little more time. There are many, many supplementary aids and services that can be in the classroom. They can have a teacher come into the classroom to uh, assist them or a para professional or aid. They can go out to resource for a portion of the day, um, in and out. There are many, many things to do to support them in their classroom. But I believe that exposure in the general education classroom is important if that's the child your if that's the level your child is at currently. Um, I do not believe that inclusion is for every student at every moment in their life. There are times when I've had clients who their families want them to be in a resource setting, a smaller setting, um, because of the level they are presently at. But that level needs to grow, and we need to make sure that the goals are supporting that. If the child's on an IEP, to move away from the highest level of support and to the least restrictive environment for that child so they can flourish and grow. So I hope that a um, little bit of reference to the law helps on this fine Tuesday and that you have a really great week. Take care.